All right. Well, let's talk about your top five. We're, we're now into the second half of the year. We'll start with the ah. history of Marilyn Monroe, the unheard tapes. One of the best docs on arguably the greatest movie star in history, basically her trials and difficulties in the face of a harsh patriarchal society. And then my second choice uh, in the first half of the year, The Northmen, an indescribably strange and fun retelling of the story that inspired Hamlet. Director Robert Eggers is known for his offbeat approach to cinema. This concludes with two nude men sword fighting near an active volcano, Scott. It also features Ethan Hawke and Willem Dafoe howling at the moon. You can't miss this one. Happening, the timing of this French film by Audrey Dewan couldn't have been better. It's depiction of a woman trying to get an abortion procedure in 1963, in a time where they locked up, locked up both the seeker of the procedure and the provider, is stunning in its truth. And then it all comes down to being a private woman's health issue. Pompo the Cinephile, a brilliant Japanese animated film about the love of film and the people who make them known for its catchphrase, Pompo is here, which pretty much sums up the fun and tribute to movie makers. And of course, number five, official competition. This film will make you think, laugh, and primarily make you feel an artistic vision of, wait for it, a movie within a movie outside a movie. Wow, okay. Uh, Antonio Banderas and Penelope Cruz. And they're fantastic. They have fantastic chemistry in this movie. So, yes. Everyone's gone to.